This is the 2023 Ironman 70.3 XR Provence. Welcome to my coverage of the Ironman 70.3 Exxon Provence just outside of Marseille in the sunny south of France. Although sunny was not quite the options. After a fairly lengthy flight from South Africa to Istanbul and Istanbul to Marseille and then a bus ride to Exxon Provence, I was ready for Tour 2 of 2023. Hey everybody, welcome to Marseille, France. Well, it's actually not Marseille, it's outside of Marseille. It's in a place called Aix-en-Provence. Uh, it's my first time working in France with the Ironman team. So I added a new country to the list, which is awesome. Uh, today is Friday and uh, today we've got the press conference, which is all in French. Mm, not sure I understand much of that. I really need to learn more French. Uh, but I have the expo opening, race registration opening for athletes. Uh, it was pretty cool coming in on the plane last night and then the bus from Marseille to here. Uh, quite a few athletes on the bus as well. Over 2,000 athletes from many countries around the world as we celebrate swim, bike and run here in Aix-en-Provence. Let's go explore. Come. Le Grand the Ibis Hotel in Aix-en-Provence. Interestingly enough, this hotel is located on a road called Infirmeries Street or Avenue. Isn't Infirmerie a hospital in French? This is home for the next four days. Yeah, it's okay. Apart from the very thin walls and people playing drums on the walls in the morning. So the first bit of business for me was to head down to the expo area and the registration area to go and do some mic work and welcome athletes to their big weekend. Lots of exhibitors and things to see before going through the Iron Man merchandise store and eventually ending up in registration to get your wristband, your uh, race bag, your uh, transition bags, your race numbers and sign the This one, University. This is the best registration in the world ever and it's because of her because she's amazing. Uh, it's so cool. We've worked everywhere together but never in France. No, so first time. First time in France. As a matter of fact, you know what I did today? Today I drove in a French car in France for the first time. Oh, huh? was it? it was it was French. It was very good. Cool. <laughs> yeah, I loved it. I loved it. <laughs> Day 
day one complete meant we were on to day two, which featured the very important race briefing and pike check-in. flow goes around here and then that'll obviously open up tomorrow yeah so you see this section here this will obviously open up and you'll go down that way I would imagine Hey guys, welcome to the finish line of the Ironman 70.3 XR in Provence. Tomorrow this is Victory Alley, this is where everyone wants to go. 2,500 athletes from 63 countries around the world racing with us here this weekend. And uh, very, very, very big professional men's and women's field. This is the finish line, this is the goal. This is Mr. Race Director. <laughs> Guillaume is the man in charge. Welcome to Exo Provence. It's good to be here, man. Uh, 2,500 athletes? Yeah, in the sunny south of France. <laughs> sunny south of France, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Next yeah. year will be more sunny. Okay. For sure, that's definitely. A, that's a promise from the Race Director. Yeah. You ready? I'm ready. Of course I'm ready. Are you going to have Look, a good day? Looking forward to be tomorrow. It's going to be amazing. This man is amazing. He is a great Race Director. He works miracles. Thank you. To catching up with the race director, it was time to go back to the expo and meet one of my co-announcers, who happens to be one of the coolest people I've ever met. Himself, Gordon is here! So just for a moment, we have to focus on the pants, guys. I mean, these are rubber duckies on Chun's pants. You know, it, because there is a French expression yeah. that, that says that the weather is... Um, weather uh, for ducks? Yeah, weather for the... Oh, weather you have the same in English? Yeah, weather for ducks. Un temps de canard. Ah, ah, voilà. Ah, ah. So, so Chun, Chun is an interesting guy. He lives in Belgium. He speaks French, but he's uh, Taiwanese. Absolutely. Right, so, so how does that combination get together? Like, uh, I love French fries, ah. but uh, it's called Belgian fries, actually. Belgian fries, yeah. Chocolate yeah. and beer, uh -huh. but as a nation, I don't drink much beer, otherwise I... Uh, you know what? So you got the chocolate and you got the, you got the French fries. Yeah. French fries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you excited for tomorrow? Absolutely, absolutely. This is going to be a really interesting race with a lot of newbies, a lot of rookies. 50% of the field is, is uh, doing it for the first time. I'm so excited to work with this man. I've heard so many good things about him. He's apparently an energizer bunny. He's got energy for days. So tomorrow when you see me looking really like tired. Nah, you won't. Ch you June won't. will be there with the energy. <laughs> See you tomorrow! <laughs> So, after having a look at La Raton, the centerpiece water feature for the race weekend here in Exxon Provence, it was time to head out to the bike check in, which is all the way at Pear Holes Lake. Oh, I swim, that's the thing. He lies. Let's pretend. He lies, he knows how to swim. I gotta tell you, Trin is so fit. Yesterday he left the keys back at the race office and he, he ran to go and fetch them. He was back in like three minutes and it was at four Ks away. Like, how does that work? I have to tell you the story, Gordon. Last year, Jay, so the other, the French speaker, yeah. knocked at my door at the hotel and I was half naked because I was about to take my shower. Yeah. Looked at me and he said, hey, dude, you're a pretty good swimmer. He said, why don't you say that? I don't swim. And he's like, because you look like a boy. 
This is not nice, Ray. Right? right. This is not nice. It's funny though. <laughs> one point, one point I'm more in shape than last year. 1.9 kilometers, but Vincent, the uh, the swim course director, tells us that it's two, three meters short. 1897. 1897. Yeah. So that's a discount. Yeah. We could make them go back into the water for 1.5 meters and get out. We should, guys. <laughs> it's going to be a good day. <laughs> That is far, right? Yeah. Okay. 1.9 kilometers, guys. <laughs> I can't even see that far. Where is the end? Oh, the real question is, are you nervous? No. No, okay, he's relaxed. Huh? Completely relaxed. It looks far from here, but when you're in the water, it's, it's easy. It's easy. But look at the guy. I mean, he's got no body fat. He's got big shoulders. <laughs> he looks like an athlete. So it's no problem for you. For me, is a problem. For you, no problem. <laughs> This is the 2023 Ironman 70.3 XL Provence. 2,500 athletes from around the world. 65% of the athletes are from France. Swiss athletes, uh, Great Britain, United Kingdom. We also have guys from China. We've got guys from Taiwan. We've got uh, athletes from Vietnam racing with us. Australia, New Zealand, everywhere around the world. Oh, there's also a few South Africans that are here. There are three sappers joining us. It is going to be an amazing weekend of racing as we celebrate swim, bike and run. 113 kilometers, 70.3 miles from this point to the finish line in Aix-en-Provence. This is what 2,500 bicycles look like, belonging to people from, well, 63 nations. Driving back to the hotel for a last night's sleep before race day. Race morning arrived, wet, cold, but full of promise. After a very successful pro men and women start, the age group is lined up ready to get their race day underway. Thousands of athletes from around the world lined up on the shores of Lec Perols to start their 113 kilometer journey. Avant de l'accueillir en sortie d'eau, 
Votre athlète libanais, Condor, se réveille bien au milieu de ses chaussures de la haut de vélo. Et donc, on a changé peut-être pour mettre le pied dans le il va faire tout ça avec ses chaussures de course. C'est comme ça. Bien sûr, c'est bien. On a cherché à vous mettre dans la lycée toute seule. Il hein, faut pas se laisser tout seul. Allez, c'est bon. Ouais. And finally, the last athlete to enter the water was given a double high five by our volunteers and sent on her way. After a 1.9 km swim out and back, the swim exit was a buzz with electricity as the athletes felt proud and somewhat relieved by the fact that they'd completed the swim and now had to take on a 90.1 km bike ride. Sadly, I was unable to get any footage of the bike course, but I believe it was amazing. Let's go to the finish line. After a phenomenal pro race amongst the men and women, 2,600 age groupers found their way to the magical red carpet, a place where dreams come true and goals are reached. First time working in France and what an experience. Massive thank you to the French crowd, to race director Guillaume and his team, and to my colleagues Jay and Chung. Look forward to coming back in 2024.